Welcome to the Metal Voice. Returning guest, Paul Diano. Paul, what's going on, man? Hello, mate. Uh, well, I'm here in Zagreb. Uh, getting some more treatment done with lymphatic drainage and all that shit. Uh, yeah, and um, physiotherapy is it's a bit tough, but we're getting there. So, all right, you know, it's just hard work. I've got to focus on me. <laughs> all right, good news. Paul Diano's War Horse album. The debut will be released on July 19th on Brave Words Records. Here Comes the Night, the audio single is now available on all digital platforms. The video will premiere tomorrow on Brave Words website. That's bravewords.com. And on Saturday, the video will be released to the public. The music video for Here Comes the Night. The new album, Paul. Just give everybody a little uh, teaser of what the overall sound, like the, the musical direction of this album. So um, I'm sort of a bit interested to see what people think of it. It's slightly different from uh, what I'd normally do. Uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to become a, attached to it, you know what I mean? Because I had so little to do with it, just sang on it. But uh, everyone else seems to be excited about it. Uh, look, I heard it. And and I think it's 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 a little bit of the classic sound, a little bit of contemporary yeah. sound. And it's got a little bit of that eighties uh, yeah. sort of uh, sunset strip sound. Some in some places. Oh fucking no! Don't say that. If you see, go around looking like fucking Motley Crue, you got nothing coming. Well, actually, I'm getting one of my things now. <laughs> but it's got that Diano twist, that aggressive Diano twist. Don't don't get me wrong. I just little pieces. It was fun. It was actually fun doing it. But as I said, I just went in and done my vocals, and that was it. And uh, as I said, and then I came over to England and we went on this massive took oh, fuck off phones going, wasn't it? And um yeah, and that was it. So I've sort of become sort of detached from it. So I need uh, once this all starts rolling again, I'll I'll feel a bit better, I hope. <laughs> What's interesting, there's two covers on this album, and one is Depeche yeah. Mode. Was that your idea? Yes, it was. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty guilty to that one. <laughs> Precious by Depeche Mode. It's it's a great yeah. song. I mean, I yeah, one I of my like favorite bands of all time. You know, and, and plus we got connection because we all used to live near, near each other in East London, Essex. You know, we all see each other around and then some Moye and all that, so we all know each other. <laughs> Tell me about the guys who played on this album, the Croatians. Well, it's a poopy, uh, unfortunate nickname, that poopy. Uh, uh, there's, there's him and Herve, one of the two guitar players, and they're both absolutely phenomenal. They're really great guitar players. So we had some guests come in. We had Becky Baldwin come in and do a couple of tracks, and uh, Joe Lazarus kind of played drums as well here and there. But as I said, I've been away from all that because I've been on tour, so you know it's a bit weird. As, as I'm trying to get myself attached to it, is well, I mean, it's coming up, and you'll probably get a little more warmed up to it as as, as the release yeah. date comes. I, I actually had to fucking download it myself. <laughs> I got I got the I got the EP. I've done it on iTunes. Oh good. Can't believe it. <laughs> How's the autobiography coming along? My, uh, Actually, the documentary. Uh, sorry. sorry uh, the documentary. Uh, well, that's, I don't know. I haven't spoken to Wes for a while. You know, uh, I think it's going to be out in October now. And it's just so sad as well because uh, I wasn't walking. I'm still not walking. And that's really sad. You know what I mean? So it's probably be, it'd probably be a documentary about misery and woe and crying and being sorry for myself and all that bollocks. <laughs> let, let me ask you, so what stage are you at in regards to your health? Okay, you, you're still you're sitting down. I mean, do you foresee yourself getting up and, you know, standing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's all that's a hard work. Uh, look, the thing is, we have to, the fault is mine and because we keep doing it, breaking off going to tour. Yeah, and sometimes we've got to do that because like, the fucking bills are astronomical, you know, for medical care and that. Um, which it's actually cheaper doing it privately over here because you won't get nothing done in England. So anyway, so yeah, you've got to do what you can, but we've taken these couple of months off to get me going, you know. Uh, I think for my sanity's sake as well because uh, I've, I've been suicidal over this over the last few years and, that, you know, it's just too much. I'm not one of those people who should be sitting around all fucking day. So, so what you're saying is when you're going on tour, that's probably better for your health than you are. It's better saying. for my health. It's not good for me because I'm not getting the physio done or the, or the lymphatic drainage I need. You know, or you can sometimes, but not all the time. You know what I mean? It's very difficult. And obviously transferring from A to B to airplanes and onto buses and that. But it, uh, playing live does your head a lot of good.
Okay, good. But I mean, sitting at home too, right? That that that's the reverse, I guess, right? It's kind of you think too much. Yeah, I spend a lot of time in isolation, uh, especially where I live, because I live out in the countryside, and um, I don't get many people come to visit. And uh, it's uh, and I've been really ill the last couple of months uh, with infection after infection after infection, because I caught pneumonia uh, last year in in Mexico. Uh, whereas I would have to do a physio after we finished the tour. And ever since then, every little tiny infection, somebody sneezes on me, I'll probably go down to the plague. But uh, that's that's what you get from a you know sepsis; it just weakens your system. Yeah, yeah. What about uh, Dennis Stratton? Any plans to sort of get him on stage as a special guest? <laughs> People have been moving this around, but I, I say no. I say I, I, don't, I don't see the point. I really don't see the point. You know, Dennis a great bloke, great guitar player. Uh, that just be just for the the cheap thrill side of things. I'm not in there for that, you know? Okay. So when, when you're going to play live now, you're going to do, you have multiple tours planned, right? In the next year or two. We, right? we will do, but as I said, these are the last, these last few shows uh, up to this year, uh, we'll probably be just be finishing off, you know, doing the maiden songs and that, and then start incorporating, oh God, I've got to learn all those songs I've forgotten about. So I've got to do all that shit. <laughs> any surprise in the Maiden set? Like any pulling out a couple of uh, songs that you haven't done in a while? Oh, mate, I fucking have hard enough time trying to remember them now. Um, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Uh, I'll have to have a think about that. As I said, my focus at the moment is just on my health at the minute. So uh, when, when you do the Maiden stuff, which we've been doing, it comes sort of naturally. So you don't have to sort of really think about it. You know what I mean? But... To worry about having to put another track in, which I, I'm not sure about. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know. My boys uh, in Norway learnt Prodigal Son, and I can't fucking remember it for the life of me. But, you know, I suppose a little bit of Rio's wouldn't hurt. Paul, when you sing these Maiden songs, I mean, now you've been singing them for God knows how long, right? Yeah, before Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing these songs. I mean... Do you feel like you know you could you could still you still love the songs when you play them or is there yeah they're cla- they're classic songs they're fantastic obviously I mean and plus we you know we made the made history you know nobody sounded like us and it's great and and it's it's good to do the honor because I you know Maiden aren't doing them ones you know what I mean and uh, so you get the best of both you know Maiden fans they get me me fucking the songs up and Maiden doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know, it's exciting. Look, you, you know, the when, when I listen to the new album, just getting back to this, it sounds like you really haven't gone there before. I mean, there's a little bit of Battle Zone, maybe. There's a little bit yeah. of, you know, your aggressive vocals there. But I don't think you've very, it's very melodic. And I, at least from, yeah. I listen to it with fresh ears. It sounds very melodic. And you got a melodic voice. I, I can do when I put my mind to it. Yeah. Apparently, my, my mom said I'd make a great crooner. <laughs> I think, I think that's what you call me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, yeah. <laughs> you were with KK, correct? You played a few shows with oh, him last God, time. Around. Yeah, that was fantastic. That was really good. What was it like reuniting in a way with KK, you know, after seeing uh, him? That was brilliant. Him? So uh, before we went on stage that night, KK came down to, into my dressing room and we just hugged and said hello. And yeah, it was good. It was really good. Really fantastic because I mean Tim always comes down to see me anyway. But uh, yeah, it was awesome. It really it put sort of perked me up. Really perked me up. I saw a picture of you and Gene Simmons too. Like not too. <laughs> long. Well, I mean, you probably that was on the Killers tour, right? With Kiss. Yeah. Well, what was that meeting like? I mean, hey Gene, did he remember you? Did he, he must. This, have. this is the weird thing. It all happened here in Zagreb because uh, went down to see Kiss play and. Uh, Paul and Jim were waiting to meet me so I haven't seen them for 40 odd years which was fucking awesome and then uh, the week later I've seen Maiden for the first time I've met I've stayed for years so yeah it was all a bit good uh, scary but good I know you talked about this before with me when you met you know Steve Harris after so many years but have you had any more contact with the guys football uh, <laughs> yeah well, always always on face, Facebook and that um, not Facebook um, WhatsApp back to football and all that yeah and I was hoping to get down to see them when they played the uh, Cardinals with British Lion and that, but obviously I can't do that. You know, but hopefully I'll, I'll catch up with Steve in Portugal sometime. I want to ask <laughs> you this on a few songs. Charlotte the Harlot, was she a real person? Uh, yeah, sort of. <laughs> Her real name was High Mill Lil. 
Jaime, Jaime always in, plays in Wolfenstow. He's 17, but uh, I think that's who Steve was referring to anyway. But yeah, I think so. Uh, you're, you're doing this UK tour. You're playing the Cardinal Horses. We should plug that as well, right? The yeah. birthplace of Iron Maiden. Uh, yeah. tell, me, tell me about that uh, quickly. Well, we've done two sold out ones there last, uh, last year or this year. This year? Um, last year. Yeah, I can't remember where the fuck I am now. And uh, yeah, that was sold out. All this, the, the little British tour we've done last year was completely sold out. And we broke records you know, in Bannermans in, in uh, Edinburgh. We've done how many nights we did it? Three, four, three nights. So it's great. So, uh, yeah, um, just looking forward to it. It's, it's, for me, playing back in the UK is fantastic because it's been so long away. And now this last year was just amazing. And then I'm all excited again to go and do it again. You know, it's interesting. I'm just going back and forth with questions, if that's okay with you. The Drifter, the song, you know, in the middle yeah. piece, you're going yo 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 A lot of people yeah. don't realize that's reggae. And that was during your era, you know, when coming up with Maiden, yeah. reggae was very popular. Is that... I'll nick you off a sting. <laughs> just tell me about, you know, you're just breaking out and people don't realize that that's sort of like the reggae sort of... I was going to take the piss out of Steve, basically, went that night because uh, Steve Ace went that sort of shit. So uh, we did. And uh, I, I, I see Sting do it, <laughs> like with the police. And I thought, oh, fuck yeah. it, I'm nicking that. So, so I did. <laughs> Walking on the moon, that was it. Walking on the moon. Okay, so yeah. you nicked it from there. Cool, cool. Yeah, Pete cool. Willis, have you ever had any contact with Pete Willis over the years? I haven't seen Pete since we've done Gog Magog. You know, uh, that was a fuck up as well. But no, I haven't seen him. Bumped into Neil Murray once or twice. Uh, obviously, Yannick's been made on that now. But uh, no, I haven't seen Pete. I don't even know what he's doing now. Okay. No right. idea. What about actually? I want you to repeat what you said in regards to the music that you're working on because it kind of cut out a little bit. <coughs> in Mexico, you you said you're working on some new music. Yeah, we got four tracks of music, uh, but I've not done any lyrics yet. I, I'm, I'm too distracted at the minute trying to concentrate on you know my health and getting my legs back. Uh, I've not been able to write any lyrics for a long time because I'm, uh, I'm head's just not right. It's just not right there at the minute. But I, I know when it comes. Uh, it's going to be the most doomiest, gloomiest album you've ever fucking heard in your life. <laughs> this is all about oh, what with me and how, how much I'm suffering. Or it'll be a happy one. Who knows? And, and, and which musicians are you working on with 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 that? that well, at the moment, I, I've got um, my. He's actually a, a good old friend of mine. And I didn't realize just what, what talent in guitar is. His name's Marco Benjamin. Marco Benjamin Alvarado. I'm getting all distracted here. And we got on the. And I've got an amazing guitar, another amazing guitar player over there, um, Jason Gilbert, his name. He plays with the band I Am Watts. And he's like uh, Mexico's version of Randy Rose. Me and wow. him together, it's like Ozzy and Randy together. He's, he's fucking phenomenal. And I want to do more work with him anyway. And, you know, so then too, so we'll probably recruit him to do this project with me and Marco as well. We get a few other musicians in who we know. Do it all in Mexico. What's, what's that project going to be called? No idea. <laughs> no, yeah. no you got to write the lyrics first. You got to write the lyrics yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. See what see what comes up with that. Yeah. You know. Camel you audi- toe, something like that. What song did you audition with Maiden? Like, what song did they did they want you to sing? Like, you walked into the audition. Was there a song, or maybe there wasn't an audition? Yeah, we did an audition. Uh, purple. Dealer. Yeah. Big purple. Were there any other just- songs? Nah, we just sort of pumps around a bit and see what we could do, just to see what the voice was like. It's so long ago, mate, I can't remember. Okay. Because I, I, I think I wrote it down. Yeah, you might have it a thousand times, and I can't remember anymore. Um, your autobiography, when you look back at your autobiography that you wrote yeah. years ago, when you look back at it, I mean, what are your feelings about it today? What a prick. <laughs> no, let's like, see. I'll give this guy license to fucking do something with that, and he really fucked it up. It come across as I was a total arsehole, like uh, like treating women like a piece of shit and all that. And I'm I'm not like that, you know. Really, it, it sort of tries to make me so I don't know. It it wasn't so much about music; it was more like him fucking making him be some sort of gangster and all that. And I'm certainly not that. Yeah, um, so, I'd like to do a real book one day. Yeah, that, that's what I was going to ask you, a follow-up. Are yeah. you going to be doing a real book one day? Yeah. yeah, one day when I've got time. First of all, I've got a lot more music to do first. But get my legs back as well, so that's all I'm interested in. Paul, any plans to uh, tour North America? 
Uh, we got Canada coming up. Oh, yeah. yeah, Canada's coming up. Hey, right, hey, good. I'll see you there. Okay. If good. they let me back in the fucking country again. <laughs> <laughs> Any U.S.? What about U.S.? Uh, we're still working on that. See, it's up and down with them um, okay. because sometimes they let me in, sometimes they don't. Uh, because I'm I'm on the uh, I think I was put on the FBI list of oh, being an associate with the Hell's Angels and all that stuff, you know. So uh, yeah, sometimes they're a bit of a fucker, but uh, they've been pretty good though. Last time they let me in, that was eleven years ago. Wow, yeah, time flies, man. Yeah. Time flies. So, um, getting back to the Warhorse album, right? It's gonna again. I'll, I'll just say it again because we're trying to promote this too, right? July nineteenth, oh, Bravewood Records. I'm excited about it. Uh, I know a lot of people are. Um, Becky Baldwin's playing bass, right, on a lot of the tracks. Some of it, yeah. Some of it. No, not the tracks. Some of the tracks, as far as I know. Some of the tracks. I don't know which one. Joe Lazarus, uh, who's, who plays with everyone. It's, it's uh, Steve's, it's Steve's uh, sister, Linda's son. Okay, all right. So, yeah. Yeah, we're keeping it all in the family, mate. <laughs> um there is the other cover okay we talked about depeche mode you're doing precious i think there was like a, an album in the 2000 right that 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 was really yeah. that that's where it comes from i can't remember which album it's from but i know it was one of their later songs yeah it's a great album it's, it's, i can't remember the album's name i got more but i can't remember all of them and you're going to talk about tequila now aren't you tequila that's it like whose idea was I, tequila? And that was not my idea to do that at all the boys wanted to do that and all i've done was just do the stupid voices at the end of it and i'm like what the fuck? i don't see the point in that song but there you go keep the boys happy it was either that or if we'd had time i would have done um another cover by ultravox dancing the uh, dance with tears in my eyes just a heavy <laughs> up version you know what? You're you're like me, man. I like the new wave of the early '80s. The, it's yeah. there's just a great sound. There's so much melody. What do you like about the '80s and the early new wave sound? <laughs> well, I, I see. Apart from like the rock stuff and the punk stuff, I, I grew up on. I really did like some of the simply electro pop and you know, like like Depeche Mode. Uh, I'm, I'm really into Gary Newman. And stuff like that so i like that it makes a little difference you know and if you can incorporate it into some of your own like sort of music as well I'm, you know i'm all up for that all right is there anything else you want to tell me or tell everybody out there is it like, so ne next year's the 50th anniversary of the uh like metal for mothers midway british heavy metal when it first came out and uh so he's come up with his idea of like getting a few bands together to do this uh like us uh, or me and uh some mates of ours, I won't say who yet, but uh, they're quite well known. So we're going to go do like a sort of mini Metal for Mothers thing as well. Oh, cool. So that'd be good, a bit, a bit from, uh, but we're going to call it Metal for Motherfuckers. <laughs> On that note, Paul, look forward to seeing you in Canada. And yeah, uh, mate. yeah everybody uh, pick up, uh, you know, the self-titled uh, War Horse album, Paul Diano, of course, July 19th on Braveword Records. The single is out right now, and it's a great single, by the way. I, it's, it, it's, I know you don't remember Thank it, but much. it's a great single. I liked it a Cheap lot. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and the video comes out. It's premiering tomorrow on Brave Words, and then it'll go public on Saturday. So, Paul, that's all I got, man. Cheers, friends. See you soon, all right?